Shazam screen is visible. So let's see. Yeah, Shazam, you were asking a question. Yeah. So your question was so we'll just discuss a question. Shazam has asked. Okay. So assignment. Okay. Assignment question that is from A1.1. Okay, great question is here. Okay, this is the question. Okay, find the value of a if x plus a is a factor of it. Since x plus a is a factor, x plus a is a factor. Okay, x plus a is a factor. Therefore, x is equal to minus a. So, p minus a and uh, you'll put uh, x is equal to 0. Okay, so 2 minus a square plus 2a minus a plus 5 minus a plus 10. Okay, Shazan. Now, here we will also put p minus a is equal to 0 because it is a factor. Okay, so that means that 2a square minus 2a square, okay, minus 5a plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, now this will be cancelled and 5a is equal to 10. I think we have done this question in the class, Shazan. Answer is 2. Yeah, now we understood. Oh, answer is 2. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. Okay, so let's start with the part the class okay so before that let's what we have discussed in the last class can anybody tell what we have done in the last class till now what we have covered up navya can you tell me what we have done till now yeah we have find out the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients okay and uh, we have seen about the identities that can be used in the uh, problem solving, okay? That will make our work a little easier, okay? These are the algebraic identities, okay? That is going to help you all throughout your mathematics, okay? Now, let's see the, uh, some more questions related to the relationship between the coefficient and the zeros of the polynomial, okay? Now, here is a question, question number 14. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial Px, the polynomial here is px is equal to h square plus bx plus c. So this is the given polynomial. And it is also given to you that alpha and beta are the zeros of this particular quadratic polynomial. Now then evaluate alpha square beta plus alpha beta alpha beta square. Okay. Now since uh, question number 15. Okay, just a minute. Not too okay, let me write the question here. Hmm. So question number 14, what does it say? That what are the zeros? Zero of the polynomial are alpha and beta. Okay, question is here. Alpha and beta are the zeros. Okay, zeros. And polynomial is what? Px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, now we know the relationship. Okay, we know what, what are the sum of the zeros and what are the product of the zero. Sum of the zero is alpha plus beta. What it is, is equal to minus b by a for a quadratic polynomial. And this polynomial, you can see it is a quadratic polynomial. Okay, since the highest power is 2. Okay, everybody. Now, the sum of the polynomial, uh, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a. Okay, minus b, the coefficient uh, minus coefficient of x square, uh, x and below the coefficient of x square. And the product of zero is equal to c by a, that is constant term by coefficient of x square. Okay, now we know that alpha plus beta is what and alpha into beta is what. Now we have to evaluate that alpha square beta plus alpha beta square is what, okay? Now, how can we find out that, what is this, okay? Now, if you see, you can write it as, you can take alpha beta common, and then it will be alpha plus beta, okay? Now, we already know, everybody, the value of the product of alpha and beta and the sum of alpha and beta. Now, what it is, c by a, and it is minus b by a, okay? So, it will be minus bc by a square, okay? So have you understood? Any doubt in this question? No, no ma'am. Okay. Now let's do question number 15. Everybody, okay? Now it's your turn to do question number 15. If alpha and beta are the zeros, now again, alpha and beta are the zeros that are given means they are the zeros. What is the polynomial here? fx is equal to a square plus bx plus c. Now you have to find the difference between the zero means alpha and beta are given. So from that you and you know the polynomial also. So you can take out the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros okay and what you have to find out the difference of the zeros okay that is that is you have to find out about alpha minus beta everybody can do this i'm giving you five minutes and which question question number 15 okay. example 15 rudronial can you tell me what will be alpha plus beta what will be the sum of the zeros here from the given polynomial minus b by a minus b by a okay and uh, what will be uh, the product of the polynomial c by yeah very good so now 
Uh, Nadia, can you tell me uh, how can you find out the uh, means a minus b, which identity you are going to use? Uh, it's going to be uh, alpha minus beta square is equal to um, alpha plus beta square minus four times alpha beta. Yeah, very good. So you already know everybody that what is alpha plus beta and what is the product of alpha and beta. So you just have to put the value and then you have to uh, do the root here because alpha minus beta whole square you're going to find out. Okay. The formula that you're going to use here that is alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus. Uh, excuse me, I'm facing a problem. I, uh, I cannot understand. You didn't understand the question? No. Oh. Okay. Let's discuss one more time. Okay. Now, uh, Shagan, have you understood that alpha and beta are the zeros of this uh, quadratic polynomial? Yes. Okay. Now, what is the polynomial here? fx is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Yes? Yes. Now, let me write the given. Okay. Whenever you face problem in mathematics, okay, in any problem, the main thing what you should do, first of all, write the given. What is given to you in the question? And then write down what you have to find out. Okay. Then only you can relate the given from to how to find out and you can find a relation or any formula that you can use okay now let's see what are given given is alpha comma beta are zeros of fx and what is fx here fx is equal to ax square plus bx plus c now to find now what you have to find out you have to find out the difference of alpha into beta alpha minus beta now this value you have to find out okay shazan now how can you do that okay now since it is given to you in the question that alpha and beta are the zeros, that means you can find out alpha plus beta. So what will be the sum of the uh, zeros? The sum of the zero are minus b by a. Yes? Am I right, Shazan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, and what will be the product of the zeros? The product of the zero is the coefficient of, uh, sorry, the constant term that is here is c by the coefficient of x square. The coefficient of x square is a. So this is so from the given condition, you know that what is the sum of alpha plus beta and what are the product of alpha and beta. Now, how can you find out alpha minus beta? Now, you have to find out alpha minus beta. Now, how can you relate this alpha minus beta with these two values? So if you will see the formulas, the arithmetic formulas that I gave you yesterday, okay? So from there, you'll see one that is alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. There was this formula, okay? Now, here in this formula, you will see, you need to find out alpha minus beta. It is given alpha plus beta and alpha into beta is also given to you. So now what is alpha plus beta? It is minus b by a whole square minus 4 c by a, okay? Now, it will be b square by a square minus 4 oc by a, okay? Now, if you will... Take the LCM, it will be B square minus 4AC. Okay. Now, since you are finding out the value of A minus alpha minus beta whole square, so you the alpha minus beta value will be root root B square minus 4AC upon A square. So it will be root B square minus 4AC upon A. Any doubt in the question? Anyone? Solution in fact? Okay. No, it, uh, it, the main formula that you have to use was this, okay? And after this, you are just putting a value here and solving, simply find the value, okay? Okay, and we have got the value as root b square minus 4ac upon a, okay? So these type of question can come with the relation where you can see the relationship between the coefficient of the polynomial and between the zeros of the polynomial, okay? If one zero of the polynomial, now, another question, if one zero of the polynomial, now here, 1, 0 of the polynomial is saying, if 1, 0 of the polynomial 2x square minus 5x minus 2k plus 1. So the polynomial here, you can say px is 2x square minus 5x minus 2k plus 1. Is twice the other, then find both the zeros of the polynomial and the value of k. Okay, now that here, the given condition is that 1, 0 of the polynomial is twice the other zero. Okay, Shadan, can you tell me what will be the zeros of the polynomial here? Exactly, it is not given to you. Shadan? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. So, from the question, can you tell me, like, one? it is telling you that one zero of the polynomial will be twice the other zero. So, what will what will be the zeros of the polynomial here? Uh -huh. What do you understand by, like, uh, uh, if one zero is of a polynomial is twice the other zero? What are the zeros of the polynomial? Uh, uh, if yeah. one zero of the polynomial is x, then the other zero of the polynomial is uh, x plus 1. X plus? X plus? 2x. Yes, it will be 2x. It will be not plus. It is twice. Okay. So generally, we'll take what the uh, the zeros of the polynomial is alpha and beta. Now, if you're taking alpha, then the next one will be 2 alpha. Okay, everybody? Prodronial, Navya. Okay, have you understood? That if one 
of this zero you are taking as alpha, then the other zero will be automatically two alpha because it is given to you in the question that if one zero of the polynomial uh, of the polynomial is twice the other. Okay, so one zero will be alpha, the other will be two alpha. Now, and it is given you the polynomial also. What is the polynomial? Now, then find both the zeros of the polynomial and the value of k. Now, you have to find out three things. Okay. Now, actually not three things. You have to find out two things only. If you will find the value of alpha, then you will you will get both the zeros because one is alpha, one is two alpha. And then after that, you have to find out the value of k. Okay. Everybody try this question. Question number 16. And tell me the value of alpha, two alpha and k. Now let's write down here the given and all examples. Screen. Okay. So P X is equal to. I didn't see the question. Uh, you are not able to see the question. Sorry. I'll just wait. Okay. I'm writing actually. That's why I'm not able to see the question. Wait. First you all solve, then only I will. Okay. Now is it visible? The last one. Yes. And how we do it now? If zeros are uh, X and N two N. So how we do after that now? How you are going to find out the zeros? Yeah. So uh, first, now tell me, answer my questions and you'll get. The first zero is what? N. First zero is? N, N. No. You're taking N. I took it as N. I took okay. it as N. If you're taking it as N, okay. One zero is N and another zero is? Two N. Okay. Now what is the product of the zeros? Sorry, the, uh, the sum of the zeros. The sum of the zeros. What are the sum of the zeros? Third is three N. Yeah. Three N will be equal to what? Three N uh, equals to? It will be five by two. Understood, Shazan? Now we're told the answer. Understood. It will be minus B by A. Okay. Now oh, what yeah. is B? What is B here? What is the value of B here? Minus 5. Minus 5, in fact. Yeah, minus 5. Yeah. And what is the value of A here? 2. 2. So what will be the answer? 3N will be equal to 5 by 2. Okay. So yes. now what is the value of N? Yeah, what is the value of N? Tell me. The value for Wait, what are you asking? What? The value of N now. You got 3N is equal to 5 by 2. Yes? Minus 5 by 2. But your minus was cancelled because B value was already minus 5. Oh, yeah. yeah, in the equation, in the polynomial C, the value of B is minus 5. And you already have minus there. So minus no, N is 15 by 2. How can it be 15? Oh, yes, yes, we are right. What it will be? 5 by? It will be 5 by 6. 5 by 6. 3 by 6, yes. So one value, that is the one uh, one of the zero is 5 by 6. Now what will be the other zero? That will be 2n, two, two okay? According to you, Shazan, okay? It will be 2n. So 2 multiplied by 5 by 6. Now it will be 5 by 3. Have you got it? Everybody, Rudronial, have you got the same answer? Yeah? No, other thing is 2n. So we take 2n equals to minus 5 by 2. Other zero will be what? 2, 2n? Yeah. So what it will be? 2 multiplied by 5 by 6? Huh. So what it what no, will be the answer? 5 by 3? 5 by 4. Shazan? Ma'am, other zero is 2n. Other zero is 2n. See, I'm writing here. Other zero is 2n. So 2n will be equal to what? 2 multiplied by n. And you got n value 5 by 6. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I got it. Now you got it? It will be 5 by 3. So both the zeros. Alpha, you got alpha as 5 by uh, 6 and 2 alpha as 5 by 3. Am I right now, Bea? Yes. yes. Yeah. Rudonial, have you got the same answer? Or shall I explain? Now I got the same answer. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So the two zeros you have already got by putting the, uh, means by uh, checking on the sum of that. Now you have to find out the value of k also. Okay. Yeah. Am I right? Now, how will, you, how will you find out the value of k? If you see in the polynomial that 2k plus 1 is what? This is the value of c here. Because k is being treated here as a constant. Okay. So 2k plus 1 is c here. Now we have a relation with this. That is alpha into beta. The product of the zeros is equal to C by A. Yes. So you are going to use another uh, equation like alpha into beta. That is alpha into 2 alpha is equal to C by A. Okay. Everybody try this and you will find the a value of K. You already know alpha into uh, means uh, what will be uh, alpha into 2 alpha, which will be 2 alpha square. So 2 alpha square will be equal to uh, minus 2k plus 1 by uh, two, uh, minus 2k minus 1 by 2. Now, how it is divided by 2 minus 2k minus 2 divided by 2? Yeah, wait, I'm showing you. Like, see, you have got alpha into 2 alpha. Okay, alpha into 2 alpha will be minus c by, sorry, will be not minus here, minus c by a. Okay, now. Oh, I got you. Okay, so it will be 2 alpha square. Okay, so 2 alpha square will be the value of c here is minus 2k minus 1 and a value is 2. Okay. Am I right? And you have got, okay, you will not put 2 alpha square, okay? Uh, you know both the values here. Now, why do you put like this, okay? So, you have got here 5 by 3 multiplied by 5 by 6, okay? Now, 25 is so 18 is equal to minus 2k minus 1 by 2, okay? Now, 
gamma in equation number one. Okay, that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to it's five. Okay, now it will be alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to five. So it will put the value of gamma here. So it will be five plus two. That will be seven. So alpha plus beta is equal to seven. That means alpha value is seven minus beta. Okay, and we know that alpha into beta is equal to twelve from the given condition. Now what you can do? We have got uh, only one variable here. If we put the value of alpha seven into beta, so seven into beta multiplied by beta is equal to twelve. Okay, so it will be seven beta minus beta square is equal can to. Can I show the sum uh, once again? Just can you go a little bit above? I want to see. Yeah. yeah. See, Chaza and everybody, we have got the value of alpha as twelve. Okay, by putting the value of alpha into beta in alpha, beta, gamma, the product of all the three zeros. Okay, that was given. Okay, from the equation number third. Okay, now since we have got the value of gamma and we have got the value of gamma, and now we already know the product of alpha into beta, so we can use this gamma value to put in the first equation that is alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay. And so in alpha, beta, and gamma, if we put the value in this of gamma, then you will get a relationship between alpha and beta. Okay. Now from this relationship, we have got alpha plus beta is equal to seven. Now we will put, uh, we can just see the value of alpha only one, either alpha or beta. It depends on you. Okay. You can take beta also. There is no change. Okay. So if it, here I am taking the value of alpha, so alpha will be seven minus beta. Okay. Now. Alpha into beta, we know that alpha into beta is twelve. Now in this, if we put the value of alpha as seven minus seven uh, minus beta, what we got from here? Always put the equation numbers. Okay, you can take it as equation number uh, fifth because this one will be our one. Okay, now you are using this in this. Okay, now what you got? We got an equation that is seven beta minus beta squared is equal to twelve. Now or we can say some rearrangement after some rearrangement that beta squared. Uh, minus seven beta plus twelve is equal to zero. Okay. Now it's a quadratic equation, quadratic polynomial. Yeah, you have got a quadratic polynomial. Now what you can do, uh, you can just split this in such a way that the numbers are the product of this. Like you solve a quadratic polynomial. Okay. So minus four minus three. Yes, minus four minus three. Very good. So minus four and minus three. Actually four and three. So yeah, here you will split like that. Okay. It will be minus. It will be like minus will be outside. Four plus three will be there. Yes, because four plus three is uh, beta, and four into three is twelve. Okay, everybody, any doubt here? Why how I am splitting? This is a quadratic polynomial. Okay, in quadratic polynomial, this number, the with the x coefficient. Okay, it is the sum of the zeros, and this one is the product of the zeros because here x is just one. The value of beta square is one only. Okay, so. And it will be twelve is equal to zero. So what we got? Beta square minus four beta minus three beta plus twelve. Okay. So you can take it as beta common, and it will be beta minus four. And again, you can take three uh, as common plus three no, minus three to beta minus four. Okay. Same value. This is zero. This is zero. So you got beta minus four. Into beta and minus beta three. So beta value will be four or three. Okay, three or four. It can be three or four. Accordingly, you can find the value of alpha. If beta, if beta is equal to four, then alpha will be what? You got the value of alpha as what? Seven uh, minus beta. Okay, seven. Alpha is seven. Yeah. So alpha. No, it is seven minus beta. So seven minus beta. If it is four, so it will be three. And if beta is equal to three, then alpha will be four. Okay. Understood. And gamma we have already taken out, and gamma is minus two. Any doubt in this? So now actually the zero of the polynomial are three, four, and minus two. Everybody, any doubt anywhere in this question? Safia, Rudronial, Navya. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm no doubts. Rudronial, may I explain it again? Uh, no, ma'am. Safia, we have understood. So basically, when you are finding this type of question, you have to find the relationship between. You see, it was a cubic polynomial. Okay, so I got three equations. Okay, here, alpha. The sum of the uh, zeros, the pro, uh, the sum of the product of two zeros and the product of the zeros. Okay, and after that, since one thing was given that alpha into the product of two zeros were given, so I use it to find the third number, the third zero, and I use that third number to find out the other two. Okay, yeah, Shazan, what do you want to question? Ma'am, uh, I want to ask that if the question is bi-quadratic, then if it is bi-quadratic, it is not going to bi-quadratic. 
what? Bi quadratic now. Bi quadratic means uh, x to the power 4. Yes, ma'am. So four zeros will be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it will not going to ask you at this level in class 10th. Okay. And if it is like this type of question, like bi quadratic will come only for degree and finding out the coefficient of simple things only. Okay. Not for the zeros. In fact, you can see in the syllabus still uh, cubic only. I told you about the zeros and all. Okay. Then it will be, you can see uh, at that time you will have the sum of the product, okay? Like alpha plus beta plus gamma plus uh, one more, okay? Like, and then it will be the product of two, the sum of the product of two, sorry, the sum, yeah, the sum of the product of two, then it will be sum of product of three, and then the all the four will be there, okay? Understood? But this question will not going to come right now at this stage, okay? Now, uh, we have almost done most of the, we have completed it in here, okay? So, yeah, we have done all the examples here. Okay. So let's see. Now, formation of quadratic and cubic polynomial. Okay. Now, uh, actually our time is over. So we'll end the class here. Okay. Formation of quad uh, quadratic and cubic, formation of quadratic and cubic polynomial is nothing. They are the, what we did till here, the sum of the zeros, the product of the zeros, and how you're going to use the sum of the zeros and the product of the zero to form a polynomial. Okay. For example, if it is given to you. Okay. For example, if I tell you that the sum of the 0 is 2 and the product of the 0 is 5, then how can you find the equation? You can simply write x cube uh, plus 2x plus 5. This is the equation. Okay. By using the sum of the 0 and the product of the 0. Okay. Because the coefficient of x will be the sum of the 0 and the coefficient uh, and the constant term will be product of zeros. Okay. And if it, this is there, then the, uh, the coefficient of x cube will be 1. Okay, so by using this information, you can, by uh, if it is product of a zero and the sum of the zero is there, you can frame the polynomial. Okay, now we will uh, study this in detail in the next class and uh, we are about to finish our chapter, but still there are many things. Okay, the division algorithm we have to learn about in the quadratic polynomial. Okay, so anybody, any doubt today in this class? No. Okay, so we are ending here. Okay, no. try to practice the question. Yeah, Shazan? No doubt. Okay, that's very good. So you are going to practice the question. In fact, the assignment question. They are mostly the questions. Uh, the first assignment are based on the, whatever I have taught in the class. Just go through those questions and you will have another set of the question in the next assignment. Okay, everybody. Till then, bye-bye.